Welcome to this edition of Inside the Show. There will be 42s everywhere today in honor of the barrier-breaking Jackie Robinson. Before we get there, though, here's what happened yesterday. Starting off in the National League East, the Angels combined for 10 hits as a team as they were victorious in extra innings over the Marlins, 5-4. In other Marlins news, starting pitcher Robert Duggar has been placed on waivers by the club. The Nationals finished off a two-game sweep as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field 2-1. to one. The Mets grabbed 13 hits in the game as they took down the visiting Braves 10-4. to four. The Milwaukee Brewers had 12 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils 9-4. Evan Longoria was a major force at the plate with six RBIs, leading San Francisco over Cincinnati 12-4. Chris Sharp had a day to remember amassing an impressive... Another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Miami Marlins. Number 42 makes his much anticipated debut next. Sandy Alcantara is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. And he fouls this one off. The 0-2 once more. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. First pitch of the at bat. Tommy Lestella comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And our game time taken high and deep to right. Racing back the right fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in his strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Fouled off. Another 0 2 home. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike. And now there are two gone. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He also had three hits in the win last night. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Good pitch there, had him a little out in front. Hey, he finds himself down 0-2 with the quickness. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Oh. 
So digging in now, Will Myers. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. Line to the right side. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging a bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher when you can't go one way when you pitch a guy in. He pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning of this season. To second for one, to Pujols, and they get them both. That is her. The third baseman. Now at the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Justin Upton the next to hit. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Chisholm is there to make the play and it takes just one pitch to retire Upton. That is good. Striding in right Brian Goodwin. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Strike one to start the at bat. Angels lead at one nothing here in inning number two. Fouled away. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. First offering on its way. Jason Castro swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Myers will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Pete Alonso. Lifetime in this matchup, not great. He's one for eight. He's also gone down on strikes five times. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road trip, the start to it. They're 3-1 and one after four games, playing really fundamentally sound baseball. From offense to defense pitching, it's all coming together for this group. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Now a ball hit towards Simmons at short. Scooped up. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Two out, nobody on. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So here's the Angels pitcher, Caleb Smith. Get to take his first. Three. Out. Three. Eight out. Oh, 
And this evening's contest comes to a close 5-3 the final. The Los Angeles Angels jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Our final line for tonight. First for the victorious Angels.